We are nearing the end of Lent, the end of Holy Week, it's, and uh, I've just gotten done recording the Good Friday service with with, uh, with Roswitha Masson, our organist. And so this uh, painting here is going to be coming down soon to be replaced with uh, the cross that normally hangs here through most of the year. So some of you who are not from our Redeemer Lutheran Church and who, who have been watching these videos may be wondering about this painting. So I want to tell you the story of, uh, of this painting. This was painted by Lynn Morand. She's a member of our congregation. And uh, about 10 years ago or so, um, I learned that the cross that normally hangs here can actually be taken off, and there's a big hook there. And so my wheels began to spin, and I thought, oh, Raridox, we could do something kind of exciting here. And so I talked to Lynn, because I knew she was a painter, and, and I'd seen her, her work in uh, different places. And, and so uh, I, I believe very strongly in the relationship between uh, the church and artists. And uh, so I approached her with this idea. I said, I said, what if you, would you be willing to paint uh, a large scene where we bring the Holy Land together with the Okanagan? so that we sort of indigenize, uh, you know, this faraway place into the place where we live here. And, uh, and so this, uh, this began to sort of take shape here. And uh, so, so what you're seeing here is, of course, there's the three crosses, which implies Golgotha, but of course that's not Golgotha. And we don't see Jerusalem or anything here. Uh, this is the Okanagan, and that's uh, Lake Okanagan there. That's Munson Mountain over here. And uh, so this is on the east side of the lake. Penticton would be just kind of just around the corner there. And what uh, Lynn did was she stripped out all of the vineyards and the orchards and the houses and everything and just left the kind of the bare brown hills, which is probably a little more what it looked like before there was all the development here. This is a semi-arid region, not unlike the Holy Land. And, uh, and so... Uh, this magnificent painting came into existence. And then the last little piece was, she hadn't placed the crosses yet, and so uh, we met to discuss and test where the crosses would look best. And of course, the first, first thing was, oh, let's put it up on the, on the hill there, like Golgotha, but then they looked like giant skyscrapers up in the distance, or you had to make them so tiny, uh, it didn't even make sense to have them up there. And we looked around, and this was the best place to place the crosses, looking out over the lake. And Lynn said that she wanted to capture the sense of loneliness, of, of sort of that sense of being abandoned uh, that Jesus must have felt as he hung there on the cross. And so I think this painting captures it very nicely. So that's the story of this wonderful piece of art that hangs in our church, at the front of the church, every year during the season of Lent up to Good Friday.